Hello. It's the old singing gunsmith with you again. Uh, I've started a new project here working on a uh, Stevens 44. And the first problem I come across with it is the stock has been damaged. It has some, uh, looks like, uh, dents here. I don't know whether you can see them or not. Let's see if I can get the light just right. Maybe you can see those. And then on this side, we still have more. And uh, the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to try and raise those. So if your uh, gun stock has dimples, dips, or depressions, <laughs> we'll show you how to get those out. <laughs> the first thing you need to do is get yourself a good quality stripper. And don't we all just want a good quality stripper? I mean, come on. Nobody wants a cheap stripper. In this case, I've picked up some Serta strip, which I've had good luck with in the past. <laughs> that never that doesn't always mean I have good luck now, but I've had good luck with this uh, particular brand in the past. Uh, so we're going to put it on according to the directions. We'll uh, uh, let it sit for a few minutes, strip it off, and see what we come up with. Okay? So, I should probably read the directions, huh? One thing about strippers is you want to put them on liberally. How's that? Liberally. I like that. I wonder if you can see this. Uh, I've, I've applied it, just poured some on there, and I'm going to spread it out like this with a acid brush. My, my favorite tool in the shop seems to be the acid brush. I use it for just about everything, uh, dealing with uh, painting or stock finish or stripping or whatever they're cheap and if there's one thing i do well i i do cheap pretty good not when it comes to high quality strippers though <laughs> there you get what you pay for <laughs> ah sorry i'm feeling rather silly today i guess but then what day don't i feel silly okay we got that spread out on that side pretty well we're going to let that work for a little bit. And that should lift most of the finish right off of there. And we do want to do a really good job of stripping. We want to get as much of that off of there as we can, uh, as far as the old uh, uh, finish is concerned. Oh, gosh. Anyway, the, uh, the floor is actually in really good condition, but we're going to strip it anyway. Mainly because we're going to, as long as we're refinishing the buttstock, we'll have to refinish the forend too, or they won't, or they won't match. So we're again applying this quite liberally, and we'll let that work for a while, and removing the old finish. This uh, has softened it considerably, but uh, it's not just coming right off. It's, it's taking a little bit of scraping. A little bit disappointed in the uh, performance of the stripper. So I won't tip her. <laughs> now that we have the uh, buttstock all cleaned and uh, all the finish stripped off of it, <coughs> I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sand it, uh, not trying to get down to the level of all these uh, dents, but I want to get down past the level of a lot of the scratches and stuff so that we have a, a nice surface to work with. And we will work on it again after we steam it and get the, try and get the um, dents out. But first of all, we're going to take it and we're going to sand it. So let's get some 120 grit sandpaper and a, uh, a good backing, a good hard rubber backing. And I don't have to teach you how to sand, do I? I think uh, you may go with the grain back and forth. And one of the things I noticed when I uh, was soaking this down and, and, and washing it, was that uh, it was very rough. You can see in here, it hasn't even been sanded yet. It looks like uh, when this came out of the factory, it wasn't uh, particularly well done or somebody has been in it before. Okay, we're back. We've done our sanding and gotten down to 
getting all the finish, old finish off of there. And we still have the areas with the dents that we're going to try and raise. Okay. Uh, in order to raise the dents, you need a water and heat. Uh, you're going to steam them out. I've got an old washcloth and a bucket of uh, clean tap water. And we want to go and we want to put water right on and into the areas, the dents that we want to raise. And that really makes them pop out. You can probably see that a whole bunch better now. Okay, so we're going to put water right there on the area we want them to raise. And we take a regular old iron. And you can use your wife's iron for this. You're not going to ruin it. Uh, you're just ironing on a clean cloth that's uh, water soaked. You put the cloth over. And by the way, don't, don't, if you use me, do use your wife's iron. Don't mention me in the divorce action. <laughs> I've got a little uh, travel iron here, and we're going to put it right on there, and you can hear it sizzle. Because what we're doing is we're creating steam. We want that water to go into the wood fibers where the dents are, and we will put the iron on the cloth, and we're trying to have the steam form inside the stock and lift that wood back to the surface. Now, if you've got wood that's been actually taken away, gouged out, that's obviously not going to work. The wood's not there anymore. Uh, you can't replace wood that's gone uh, by steaming. But if you've got dents, you can soak that stock down real good. And take that hot iron and... Now, how successful is this? How well does it work? It depends a lot on how badly the uh, wood is uh, uh, dented and how much patience you have to go over and over it until it's exactly where you want it. And you can still see where the dents were because the uh, uh, there's oil in them, and the oil, oil in gun stocks is really the gunsmith's bane, and any refinisher's bane. Trying to finish a stock that's been sitting on the butt stock with oil in the barrels that's dripped down into the stock, you can see the discoloration here, and how the fore end here has got the black spots. That's all oil from people who have oiled the gun and then sat it up on the butt, and the oil has been absorbed by the wood, and it is a booger to get out. So we're just going to do this over and over. Get the moisture into the stock, steam the moisture out of the stock. And the idea is to take those dents, I can feel them now we're near as deep as they were, and bring them back to the surface. So we're taking the cloth, dipping it in, into the water. We're dripping water onto the stock, letting it soak in a little bit. So it's inside those wood pores that you want to raise. And then we drape the washcloth over it. Simply apply the uh, iron and let it sizzle. Sizzling means you're turning that water into steam. Steam is what raises the dents. And that's probably shallow enough now that we can sand it down a little bit and they'll come right out. They'll disappear. Okay, so now we've got that fairly well raised. And you can go on pretty much as long as you would like. Uh, if uh, I can still feel that they're not quite raised all the way and I can either sand this until it's gone or I can continue with raising the dents. These are a bit uh, a bit deeper. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, so after we've gone and, and uh, scrubbed this down and dried it off, it's starting to look pretty good. If you notice, uh, we've got uh, the dents are still there to a degree. We haven't got them lifted all the way up. Uh, but when uh, we scrubbed it afterwards, we went and uh, used some Dawn. You know, the stuff they use on uh, ducks and uh, uh, 
waterfowl that uh, been, has been in um, oil from taker spills or whatever. Um, and we scrubbed uh, the oily spots with that and we're starting to get the oil out. Now, at this point, you can either continue or uh, you can stop there and whenever it's to your satisfaction, you can stop. But so far, what we've managed to do is we've managed to raise those up to where some sanding will take all of that off. We've got a lot of, rid of a lot of the oil spots. They're not all gone yet, but we're getting pretty close. So it's just a matter of persistence from here on in. Um, you know persistence. Uh, I, I used to date her sister. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, that'll do it for right now. Uh, from here on in, you just go and you start finishing your stock. But that's how you work on raising dents in, a, uh, in an old stock. Uh, this is uh, the old singing gunsmith saying happy trails. Happy trails to you. Boy, I think I'm getting better and better at this. Until we need meet again. I guess I'm the only one who thinks that. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And you should be keeping your, uh, your hands out of the stripper. In fact, it tells you to uh, uh, wear protection because of course you don't want this on your skin um, <laughs> oh this is just going downhill all the time <laughs> that's right <laughs> you you want to wear protection when you're stripping <laughs> oh god <clears throat> my uh my editor here uh, old papa from uh, 45 alpha charlie papa is going to take one look at this and go, what am I supposed to do with this stuff? <laughs> How do I edit all that out and still have anything? Uh, well, I hate to tell you this, but maybe you don't. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and put it on the other side too, because I just, I actually read the directions and you're supposed to let this sit for 24 hours. It's not as fast as some of the more, um, say, ecologically unfriendly strippers. <laughs> I'm sorry, an ecologically unfriendly stripper. She probably wears clothes that uh, uh, don't biodegrade. <laughs> if your stripper's clothes don't biologically degrade, she is a, a ecologically unfriendly stripper. <laughs> leave some lay around to 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 just fill up all of those um, landfills biologically unfriendly strippers I'll tell you nothing worse nothing worse <laughs>